Here's how to check your data usage on iPhone and Android. I'll be using an iPhone 14 Pro for this example, as well as a Samsung phone and a Google Pixel phone. So I'll show you exactly the steps, no matter what device you have. Let's start off with iPhone. To check your data usage on iPhone, go to Settings, tap on Cellular, and scroll down until you see Current Period. This will tell you how much data you've used during your current period. In my case, it's 91.3 gigabytes. Now you might be wondering, what is your current period? To find out, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and you can see at the very, very bottom, last reset, September 18th, 2022 at 1.32 p.m. This will tell you when your current period started. Now to find out and calculate your average monthly data usage, you simply do some easy math. Go to the website I'll have linked in the video description, timeanddate.com. Enter the date your current period was last reset. In my case, it was September 18th, 2022. Then tap on today. This will enter today's date. Then tap calculate duration. And this will immediately give you the result. In my case, it's 53 days. Now take your total data usage during your current period and divide that by the number of days it's been. This gives you your average data use per day. Now, multiply that number by 30 to get your average data use per month. And now you know about how much data you need when you're looking for a new cell phone plan. You want to make sure you get a plan with this amount of data or a little bit higher so you never go over. Next, how to check data usage using a Samsung phone. First, go to Settings, tap on Connections, and tap on Data Usage. This gives you a high-level summary of your data usage during your current billing period. To get a more detailed view, tap on mobile data usage, and this will give you a full breakdown of your current data usage for your current billing period. You can see exactly how much data each of the apps have used. You can also tap the date range in the top left-hand corner to select a different billing period. And this is really helpful to get a good idea of your average monthly data usage. Go ahead and check a few different billing periods to see how much data you've used. Now, if you've had your service for a long enough period of time, it shouldn't matter what the period is set to. However, if you do know what your billing period is, you can tap the settings icon in the top right and then tap start billing cycle on and enter the date your billing cycle renews. In my case, it is the 18th, so I'm going to set it to that. You also have additional tools here. You can set a data warning, which gives you a notification as you approach a certain limit. You can change your data warning by tapping here and entering a number, let's say 25 gigabytes set, and you can see I immediately get a notification because I've used over 25 gigs of data. You can also set a hard data limit. This will shut off your data when you exceed your certain limit. And in my case, I'm gonna tap cancel and you can tap data limit to configure this to whatever you want. This is especially helpful if your plan has data overage charges or anything like that. Next, here's how to check your data usage on a Google Pixel phone. Tap settings, tap network and internet, tap SIMS, and this gives you an overview of how much data you've used during your current billing cycle. You can also see how many days are left. To get a detailed overview of how much data you use on a monthly basis, tap App Data Usage. This gives you a line graph of your current data usage for your current billing cycle, as well as exactly how much data each application has used. To get a better idea of about how much data you need on a monthly basis, Go ahead and tap the date range at the top and select a couple of different billing periods. Make note of your total data use, which will be at the top left, and which apps may be using the most data. You can use this information to change your data usage habits if you want to try and use a bit less data, or just be mindful of what apps use a lot of data. In my case, it's the Ookla speed test application. Now, if for some reason this date range is off from your billing cycle, that's typically okay, especially if you've been using your phone for a long period of time. However, if you do want to change it, you can simply tap the settings icon and then tap mobile data usage cycle. And this will let you change what day of the month your cycle is reset. When you're happy, tap set and there you go. You also have additional tools here. You can set a data warning, which will give you a notification when you exceed a certain allotment of data. In this case, we can set it to 25 gigabytes for an example and tap set. And now I'll get a notification if I go over 25 gigabytes and you also have the ability to set a hard data limit. This will shut off your cellular data and make it unusable 
once you reach that specific limit. Do keep in mind that if you choose to enable this, when you go over your limit, certain applications and features that rely on cellular data may stop working. But you can toggle that on and then tap set usage limit to set a hard data limit. In my case, I'm actually gonna leave both of these features turned off. And there you go. That's how you check your data usage on a Google Pixel phone to figure out about how much data you need on a monthly basis. And that's how you check data usage on iPhone and Android. To find a cell phone plan that meets your specific needs and is affordable, consider checking out my website, bestphoneplans.net. I built a cell phone plan comparison tool that lets you compare plans by specific data amounts, so you can find the perfect plan that meets your specific needs. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.